So today is going to be a short video on how to make these MC4 connectors, how to crimp them on there. And it's very, very simple. Um, you can buy all of this stuff on Amazon for very, uh, very cheaply. And basically what you'll need is a pair of crimpers to crimp the wire to these little metal connectors. I'll show you how all this works. Something to cut the wire. It doesn't have to be a pair of dikes like these, any types of wire cutters. Um, you could use a wire stripper, but it's less expensive just to use any type of knife. Um, razor knife, I mean, shoot, probably even a steak knife would work, honestly. Um, and then obviously you need the connectors, the MC4 connectors, and then there's this that come in a kit. I'll link to this kit that comes with the connectors, like 20 connectors, the, uh, the inside pieces that actually uh, that cramp onto the wire, and then these to help just tighten them down. Um, so let's get into how to crimp this thing. So first thing you are going to need, obviously, is your solar panel wire. This is 10 gauge here. Now these connectors that I'm using go all the way from 10 gauge to 14 gauge to work with. So first thing you're gonna do is strip back this wire uh, about three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch max. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Now the sharper knife you have, the better on this part. And I can tell my knife is starting to get duller, so I need to sharpen this thing up. It'll still work, though. Now, you might fray a wire here and there. To me, I don't see it as that being that big of a deal. But once I do get it all stripped back like this, I twist the wires as tight as I can, especially if you're using 10 gauge, you're going to need to get it pretty tight to get through that connector. There we go. That looks good. Next thing we're going to need is to pull one of these connectors out. Okay, so there's going to be two different size little connectors here that have a little end on it you're going to crimp. And you'll notice one is a female and one is a male. So those slip together. That is exactly what you're going to have inside the MC4 connector that actually makes the wiring connection. So here's the trick that you're going to want to remember. We're going to start with an actual this is a female end of the MC4 connector. But you would think, okay, we have the female end of the MC4 connector. We have a male end of the MC4 connector, right? Those two go together, obviously. Now you would think you would put a male metal piece in with the male MC4 connector. That is not correct. So we are going to start with a female connector. And for the female connector, we actually need the male end right here, which I know doesn't make sense, but that's the way it is. So it's always the opposite metal connector piece inside the MC4 connector. Just remember that. So how I like to do this is I put the part that I'm going to be crimping inside the crimper into the first notch right there. So I'm going to slide that in and I'm going to clamp down just enough where it holds it in place. And then I'm going to take my wire from the other end and slide it through there. And once I know I'm all the way in, which that feels good and tight, I'm going to crimp it. All the way down. That's it. Now we're going to check our crimp. And that looks good. No frayed wires sticking out. And even if there were a couple frayed wires sticking out me right here, I would just twist them, wrap them up around there. You don't need to redo it, at least in my opinion, unless you have a bunch of them, then you'll want to redo it. But give it a good tug, make sure that's in there tight, and it is. So then we take our connector and we unscrew the back of it off and make sure that little orange piece in there falls out and stays in the bottom. Just makes it easier in my opinion. So now we take that piece, we're going to slide this through the back of it. Just like that. And now, we are going to take the other end of our connector and put it right through as well. You're going to feel it kind of click in there as you push down. There we go. You kind of hear a snap and then you just screw this together. That is it. So let's do that. Get it as hand tight as you can. And then there's this little tool that comes in the package that I'll link to with the MC4 connectors. It's these things that make it really easy to tighten them up. So here's how this thing works. You just slide basically the bottom under the bottom and you kind of slide it up and you'll feel it just snug in there. There we go. 
and then you take the other end and there's this little kind of center hole right here. That's what you're going to use for the top. And you're going to slide that in just like that. And then you're going to turn it right or turn them opposite directions, basically. And you'll hear a click. Once you hear that click, you're all the way tight. There we go. I'm going to pull these off now. And we have a MC4 connector. You'll see the little mail piece inside there. Then we just do the same thing with the other side or the mail, the mail end. Do the exact same thing. But remember, since this is the mail end, we're going to use the female end here. And then that female end will match up with this male end that's inside there. And they snap right together or they'll connect right into your solar panels. Because um, your solar panel connectors are these exact same MC4. They come with solar panels. So they're the ones that are hanging off. They're the positive and negative. So that is how you can just make these on your own. And you will build your own system. You need to make quite a few of these. At least I did. And it's much cheaper to make them yourself. Just buy a roll of 100, 150 feet, 500 feet, however much you need of this wire. And do these yourself. Rather than buying them pre-made, you will save a boatload doing it this way. So that's it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and I will see you in the next one.